Resources, the London and Dublin quoted oil and gas exploration and production company, today announced that it has successfully flow tested light, high quality oil at its Barry Row appraisal well off the southern coast of Ireland. The well has flowed at rates which significantly exceeded the company's pre drill expectations and has put the project firmly on the path towards commercial development. The Barry Row oil discovery was made by Esso Exploration, part of what is now Exxon Mobil during the 1970s, and even though oil was successfully flowed from three of five wells drilled over a 20-year period, no development of the oil resources was undertaken. The recent higher oil price environment and new technology has spurred a re-evaluation of historical discoveries such as Barry Row, with a number of such fields being successfully developed in the nearby UK North Sea. Providence drilled this new well to gain a modern insight into the oil quality and the reservoir rock in which it is hosted, data which was not available from the previous wells drilled. As part of this process, Providence set a target for production of 1,800 barrels of oil per day, a figure which has been more than surpassed with this well, which delivered about 3,500 barrels of oil per day. A recent Barry Row audit indicated that the discovery could contain up to nearly one billion barrels of oil. The company will now integrate all of the new well data with a 3D seismic survey which was acquired in 2011 to map the Barry Row oil reservoirs and prepare for the next phase of activity. The new Barry Row well, which is pictured here, is the first in a major multi-basinal drilling program which represents an investment of upwards of $500 million by Providence Resources and its partners. The drilling program in six different basins offshore Ireland is the largest concerted hydrocarbon exploration effort in the history of the state. Providence Resources holds an 80% interest in the licence in Barry Row and is the operator on behalf of its partner, Lansdowne Oil & Gas, who own 20%. Drives our cars, buses and planes, powers our electricity and allows us to cook our food and heat our water. Most of today's energy needs are met by fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas. These unique High energy fuels are non-renewable resources that took millions of years to form. About two billion years ago, marine organisms like algae 
and microscopic animals and plants died and settled on the ocean floor. Beneath other sediments in the ocean and in the absence of oxygen, these fossils changed into a substance called kerogen. Under heat and pressure, kerogen gradually changes into oil or gas. The whole process usually takes at least a million years. At the molecular level, oil and gas are hydrocarbons made up of hydrogen and carbon atoms. The constant pressure and movement of the Earth's crust squeezes oil and gas through the pores or spaces within rocks. Some oil and gas reaches the Earth's surface and seeps out naturally into land or water. Often it is trapped beneath the surface by impermeable layers or rock structures, like faults and folds. Within the crust, oil or gas deposits build up and form reservoirs. Reservoirs are like vast sponges filled with oil and gas. They can be as large as a city. To find oil and gas deposits, geologists use a number of different survey techniques, including seismic surveys, gravitational surveys, and geological mapping. Seismic surveys use reflected sound waves to produce a 3D view of the Earth's interior. New technologies, such as four-dimensional projections and sophisticated graphic renderings of rock structures, are improving the way we find conventional oil and gas deposits. Energy resources that are currently difficult or expensive to extract are called unconventional oil and gas. In a world with limited energy resources, people are looking at more efficient ways of tapping into unconventional oil and gas or at alternative and renewable sources of energy from biofuels or the sun. What do you think will be the energy sources of the future?